I left in the morning, going to school, thinking that my parents thinking that I will come back. And around 10 a.m. in in the class, the government just came with troops and they were jet too, and they were bombing in the district I was in a place called Piet, and everyone was just like running. And it was really hard. There was nothing to eat, so there was a lot of starvation. People really died there. I seen thousands of the young men my age, and some were like below my age. And at that time, it was really hard for all of us because there was no like an adult, so we have to take care of ourselves, burying, burying the dead one. And right there, I met with my uncle after that, and uh, I was with him, and he was taking good care of me. And he joined. It was actually he was having a rifle, and we were together for one month. He was the one shooting animals when he see them, and then we eat it. And after that, we met. We went to other tribe in the area, and this tribe they want him. They want a gun from him. And what happened? They call us, and we sit down. And when we sit down, they call him out, and they told him that put your gun down. He put his gun down and then they tied him up on the tree and then they shot him. And after another month, I ended up in a refugee camp in a place called Itang, Ethiopia. And I stayed there for a number of years, six years in Ethiopian refugee camp. That was like three months. It took me three months, you know, to work from where I was born in southern Sudan to the border with Serbia and Sudan. And many Sudanese are coming, many refugees are fleeing to Ethiopia and other countries as well. And our number keep growing and growing and growing until we reach about 17,000 boys. We stay there by ourselves and the UN just provide food to us. And that's where the term lost boys started itself and get out in 1991 when the war broke out again. The Ethiopian government got in trouble and they kicked the, the regime out and the new government came in and they get us out, they kick us out. So we had to leave the country coming back to Sudan and the enemy were like after us. So it was not really easy to. At that time I was leading one of the group uh, about uh, 1,500 boys. So there was a river between Ethiopia and, and Sudan called River Gilo, the river overflow. Many people died at the time we were crossing the river because Ethiopian troops were shooting on us and crocodiles were eating other people as well. For those who don't know how to swim, they drowned. Some of them were eaten by crocodiles. And we end up in the border of Sudan, a place called Pashala. It took us another three to four months to come to the town of Kapota. Again, the government started bombing us there with Antinop, dropping all these bombs, and uh, we went to Kenya. The government of Kenya moved us to a place called Kakuma Refugee Camp. So we had to come to Kakuma, and in Kakuma there was nothing. It was a desert. They've come, they've come, they've come, they've come again They're here now, like they were back then Sleep won't even drive them away They're in my head, and they're gonna stay I was five years old, feel like a hundred now Creases are buried Underneath my brow With the other children I ran and grew I saw sides of others That I never knew They call me a lost boy They call me a lost boy But I know We 
swam the rivers under a ceaseless sun. Some were killed by animals, some were killed by guns. At night I floated a body from behind, I did hold on. When I made it across, most of the boys were gone. A kernel of corn was a meal for a day. Just kept on moving, try to stay away. Sleep seems to the guns to be a cue. So my nights are long, and I think of you. But they call me a lost boy. They call me a lost boy. But I know where I am, and I know. One day I'll go back home again. I can't count the places that I've been, or the eyes that hate and hate again. Like a figurine on an old board game, I've been moved around like it's all the same. But now you call this place home, with the giants outside and the polished chrome. Sometimes I get dizzy when I look to the sky, but the rain will wipe the tear from my eye. Did the blood of the river wash my sins away? Is there a God in heaven? Thought that I should stay from the rape and murder of my family. I ran, and they call me a lost boy from Sudan. When I see their faces, my eyes grow numb. Can you keep me awake until the morning comes? They call me a lost boy. Call me a lost boy, but I know where I am, and I know where I've been. But one day I'll be back home again. One day I'll be back home again. One day I'll be back. I think I don't want to be a, be called lost boy anymore because I'm not lost now again. I'm fine everywhere. I'm here doing something and I'm back home too, to where I was lost.